China's artificial islands are a hotspot of major countries' attention as they are closely monitoring the island's development, which was created during 2014 to 15 in South China Sea (SCS) on top of rocks or reefs with a whopping 3,200 acres of new land at a large scale, assuring to then US President Obama that they would not be militarized. But as we all know how faithful China and its products can be, China militarized it. But why are the islands concerning? How is it a looming threat to humanity and the environment? And how is China's military islands are proving to be a total disaster? Before finding an answer to these questions, let's find out why China is so eager to expand itself into the South China Sea, and so much so that the entirety of the islands are being completely used to strengthen China's military capability, not even allowing space for a tree. China violated international law by not only constructing the island but also claiming ownership of the sea. Having seven islands as a military base in the SCS gives China a crushing power to control the very important international waterway, which much of the world's maritime commerce travels through. And that's not the sole reason that makes the islands concerning, as what will come after will surely blow your mind. Stay tuned till the end of this video. If China is allowed to control SCS, they would control much of the world's international trade, particularly the traffic that goes through those waters, not forgetting the trade shipments that are worth trillions of dollars. Control of the sea would also give China a much greater ability to isolate and constrain Japan in a crisis, and thus particularly be a risk if China decides to start military conflict over Taiwan, and may seek to invade Taiwan and claim Taiwanese islands in the SCS, particularly Pratas Island. It might also declare an air defense identification zone in the SCS, which means permission would be needed to propose air movements across the area. In 1995, when the world was adjusting to the changing strategic equations in the post-Cold War period, it occupied Mischief Island. In 2012, when world attention was sharply focused on West Asia, the war on terror, China occupied Scarborough. Now finding the world's attention is focused on Russia-Ukraine conflict, China is constructing more artificial islands and has been clearly observed in the satellite image taken on November 4th, 2022, showing a land formation at Eldad Reef in the Spartley Islands, at the three other places, Lankium K, Whitston Reef and Sandy K. Opportunistic China never fails to grab the opportunity to claim features in the SCS and expand them through and land reclamation whenever the world is focused on other issues. Having seven artificial islands as their military bases can be extremely useful for China in certain claims in the nine dash line in the SCS and threaten other claimants from challenging the Chinese claims. And also these bases can be extremely useful to take action against the coastal countries, especially to Malaysia, Philippines and Vietnam, posing threat to these countries. Moreover, these could be used as bases to deny any support from external powers in case of a conflict. The islands proved to be assets for power projection in the Indo-Pacific region, as in these islands, PLA officers and soldiers are permanently stationed. China, in addition to having economic and military advantages from SCS, also enjoys a control over abundant natural resources like water, seafood for feeding its enormous population as 12% of all global seafood caught comes from SCS, and also for exportation as China is the largest seller of fish in the world. Oil and natural gas which can export alongside fulfilling its humongous need and thus strengthening its economy more, and of course more, but let's not forget the impending natural disaster, which also is a cause for concern, as a recent report makes it clear that they have been significant coral loss due to seawater warming, overfishing and reef destruction, contributing to the immense devastation. About 40 square kilometers of some of the most biodiverse coral reefs on Earth have been destroyed in the SCS. Over 22 square miles of coral has again been wiped off on which the islands are paved. China's dredging and building on coral reefs in the SCS is causing irreparable damage to one of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth. A recent report stated that China's artificial islands are in danger as the concrete and building materials that keeps the island from sinking is cracking, as that were of low quality as the sea level is rising due to global warming and the ocean has started to eat away at the island ends. And if this is not enough, China's biggest enemy, the US, has started to establish presence in the SCS. And Vietnam has also started making some of its own islands for the defense purposes, as they say. Moreover, in SCS, typhoons can occur twice a month, so if the rumors are true, 
then it's only a matter of time these islands will sink and there will be no support for the islands to keep afloat. But till then, the South China Sea dispute is likely to continue as China has no benefit in surrendering. And with this, it's proved that China's man-made military islands are a disaster and a looming threat to humanity and the environment. What, in your opinion, should be done against China for breaking international laws and harming nature so very much? Let me know your thoughts and dispute in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and keep watching for more informative content. And press the bell icon to never miss an update. Bye for now.